On deep web message boards and social media, many conspiracy theorists are expressing dismay and disappointment following President Joe Biden's inauguration last month. It's just belief that, that, that somehow Trump was going to come out victorious and that there would be all these um, kind of democratic figures sort of put on trial. Adherents of the conspiracy theory QAnon, some of whom were involved in the riot at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, believe leading Democratic politicians are part of a global cabal of pedophilic cannibals. Some of them have now rejected that bizarre belief system, but some are gravitating to more militant groups. So the big wild card that I think we're looking at in the United States is not whether we have an insurgency, but how fast and how hot it will run. I will say that the rhetoric among far right extremists is hot. I don't think it's ever been hotter than it's been uh, as long as I've been covering it. Racism, anti-Semitism, and hatred of so-called elites have deep roots in American society and culture. Scholars say that's not going to disappear. The hardest edges of that movement are going to be around. We have an insurgency, and the, the issue is, Who's going to lead this insurgency? What are the leaders and ideological pinnings of this insurgency going to be? Because it's around grievance. The Republican Party that enabled Trump for years has seen an influx of hardcore conspiracy theorists. For example, newly elected Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is a firm believer in the QAnon fantasy. So many Americans are blind. And when they hear these stories about pedophiles and they hear these stories about satanic worship, they don't want to believe it's true. They just don't. Another possibility, far right and conspiracy groups may split with Republicans and form their own party. And if we see some kind of breakaway political party or some kind of charismatic, telegenic or other type of leader, that will supercharge the risk. What seems almost certain is that the threat of right-wing political violence, whether perpetrated by so-called lone wolves targeting minorities or more organized plots against the government and its officials, will be a feature of the American political landscape for some time to come. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.